we were born among the stars. Our destiny is to return to them. It has been a generation since we first arrived on this world, hiding from the growing silence that has obliterated my people. Here we dismantled our last starship in order to survive and rebuild. As we once again set our eyes to the skies, we find that our enemies have found us. Now we must defend our people, our home, from the chaos that threatens it. The most essential structure on the battlefield is the headquarters. The HQ houses the command staff and provides power for up to four attached buildings. To expand our forces, we build hubs. These power the construction of additional structures. Our soldiers are equipped for battle in factories. Our large factories can produce three units at a time. When our ground forces are damaged, repair pads are equipped with multiple bays to restore them to full operation. With the ability to construct and arm aircraft, hangars allow us to take our forces into the air. To fortify our outposts, we construct walls. Hardened by catalyst, they serve two purposes. First, to keep the enemy at bay. Second, to garrison forces, to keep the enemy from returning. Only a special few are up for the task. Like our structures, our strategy for war values speed and mobility. To those ends, our first line of offense are the commandos. More hands means more guns. Next are stalkers. Quick to produce, stalkers excel at running down our enemies in packs and supporting advanced units. A true mobile weapons platform, the Predator is able to move quickly without interrupting fire of its shoulder-mounted cannons. It's an ideal unit for outmaneuvering our enemies. For long-range assault, we have the Hailstorm. These artillery units bombard enemy forces with high explosive mortars far from the battle itself. And when something stands in the way, we send in the Avalanche. These heavy machines specialize in demolishing enemy structures and fortifications. If the enemy finds us, the best defensive weapons we have are the aptly named Guardians. The firepower they can unleash is so powerful that they can only fire when securely mounted to a hard point. It doesn't take many to keep very large forces at bay until reinforcements arrive. For clandestine missions, we use the Seeker. Their electromagnetic shielding conceals their presence, allowing them to observe enemy movements and positions undetected. We also deploy the Stratos for keeping track of others through the use of high-altitude observation. Our eyes in the sky. If war in the sky is what they want, they will find it with the Warbird. These highly evasive and maneuverable craft can engage both air and land targets. For the heavier targets, we launch the Nimbus. Their small payload of high-intensity bombs pummel fortifications and decimate armies. Our greatest weapon is the Hand of Rook. Named for our greatest hero, the Hand of Rook is a mobile military base. Six hardpoint turrets serve as garrisons, while the Hand of Rook can construct any ground unit needed for the front line. Wielding the collective will of our people, its main cannon can lay waste to a building or approaching army with a single shot. We will never be silenced again. While our past has been stolen, these outlanders will not rob us of our future.